All right, time for the locale section. Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the president of the United States. <laughs> He's, he, he went to like a blue collar factory or some shit. <laughs> and then, <laughs> he was signing shit for the employees there. And this guy. <laughs> This guy's signing a hat, and he sees somebody with a Trump hat and says, give me that Trump hat, and he signs it. And then everyone in the factory is like, put it on, put it on, and he does. <laughs> he puts the hat on. <laughs> now there's a picture of Joe Biden with a Trump hat, <laughs> and he's happy about it, too. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is that cool video. <laughs> oh, he asked for it. He specifically asked. And he says, do you want my autograph? And the guy with the Trump hat says, hell no. <laughs> no. Put it on. Come on. Let's go next one. Can't do a selfie. There That's so funny. <laughs> the guy says, I'm proud of you now, you're old fart. And Joe says, what? Hey, that's good. That's good. What does he say? He smells like fried chicken? Dude, if I was him, I would totally just endorse Trump. Fuck Kamala. She sucks. Um, <laughs> so the reason why I've sort of just given up and thrown this together is that I'm going to be real with you. Okay. I'm going to give my little political take and you all can call me a, a faggot or whatever in the comments. I'm a little bit uh, concerned. When I say a little bit concerned, I mean gravely concerned that... um. There seems to be a intermingling of retarded right wing grifters and um, like Trump's campaign. Like I think that Milo Yiannopoulos and Laura Loomer are directly embedded in his campaign now, and that's a bad thing. That JD Vance guy being like a shoe on head follower, I think, is a bad thing. Because Pence was, like, old, and it was just, he was sort of like, you know, we got this wild card Trump, but then we got Pence, and he's like, he knows the game, he knows the system, and he's going he's gonna to be like a stake that ties Trump down a little bit to make sure that he's capable of producing effective policy. Because he knows, he has somebody who can, he can bounce an idea off of and, look, and hear how that's actually going to work if it plays out. But with J.D. Vance, he's just some fucking guy. <laughs> and the people around him just appear to be some fucking guys. So um, I, I, I watched the debate, and I didn't think that he did very good. He, he came across really unhinged. The things he said didn't make sense to me, and I was vaguely aware of what was happening. Um, it, was, it was a pretty poor showing. And um, I don't like Kamala, and I know that she was given softball questions and shit, but, like, I didn't think it was a very good debate. So I'm a little bit concerned. Um, and then here's Laura Loomer having a, uh argument on fucking Twitter with Marjorie Taylor Greene. I don't like either of these people, but they're, like, fighting like retards in public. And the gist of this seems to be that Laura Loomer made a, I think this is it, he says, or she says, if Kamala Harris wins, the White House will smell like curry and White House speeches will be facilitated via a call center and the American people will only be able to convey their feedback through a customer satisfaction survey at the end of the call that nobody will understand. Marjorie Taylor Greene pretty correctly points out that that's a pretty t tasteless comment to make. There's lots of Indian people in the U.S. They're technically Asians, and they're not as hardcore Democratic voting as 
like the blacks are. To give you a comparison, I think Asians vote like 60 or 70 Democrat. Um, in 2020, 81% of black men voted for Biden and 98, 98% of black women voted for Trump or for, sorry, not for Trump, for Biden. Few, as many black women voted for third parties voted for Trump. That's how fucking small the margin is for Trump when it comes to black voters. 95% of black voters voted for Obama and 93% voted for him the second time. And then um, I think it was the same number when you combine women and men for, for Biden. Black, you can offend Haitians all day long. If you're a Republican, you can say whatever nasty, cruel shit you want about Haitians, and nobody will ever give a fuck. When it comes to the Asians, they're not so they're not so one-sided. Um, so Marjorie Keller Greene says, This is appalling and extremely racist. It does not represent who we are as Republicans or MAGA. This does not represent President Trump. This type of behavior should not be tolerated ever. Laura Loomer should take this down. It is a pretty dumb thing to tweet, because you're, you're going to be voting, and you're going to have historically small margins between the two candidates. Um, so alienating the Asians is probably a bad idea. Then there's the back and forth. They have an open fucking back and forth retard internet. Like, th like this is like when I argued with, with, with Tarl Warwick or Sticks Hexenhammer on my Twitter account. Like, this is the kind of, like, retard fucking internet drama shit that's spewing out between two major Republican politicians on Twitter. And I'm skimming through all of this just to show you that this is th the the fucking magnitude of back and forth messages between them. And it's not worth reading. Um, and then I'm additionally concerned because I don't think that Marjorie Taylor green is actually giving a fuck about the messaging. I think she's upset that Trump is fucking Laura Loomer and I'm not joking. Trump is fucking Laura, Laura Loomer. She's actually, that's, that's like so his, in, that's <laughs> a woman in his campaign. And he's like grabbing her like right <laughs> above, like on her ways. And she's in like a weird tight fucking We love you. Suit. Oh, no. She's actually. That's my So I think there's even more of this. I want to say there's even more of the, the Laura Loomer and Trump shit together. Because this is in Laura Loomer's thread. Let me skip ahead a little bit. I think there's some still. Gosh, she's so fucking ugly. There's another thing that I saw, I think. This! Look at this! Look at how close they are! This is not how you hold your... Ca oh, sorry, I fucked up my thing. This is not how you hold your campaign manager. This is how you touch somebody you're fucking. Donald Trump is... is Donald Trump has been Laura Loomer, chat. I don't vote, but if I did vote, how the fuck am I voting for a man that stuck his dick in Laura Loomer voluntarily and like holds on to her in public chat. I can't vote for someone who's been loomed. I can't do it. It's bad chat. It's really bad. It's weird chat. I don't like it. It's not good. What's worse chat? Kamala Harris or a Loomer fucker? <laughs> I'm being real. What's worse? I, I'm. It's a hard. It's it's a toss up, man. It's a toss up. You you can't do better than Laura Loomer. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? It just feels like, it just feels like they're all retarded. Like Trump had like a really lean and mean campaign in 2016, and he did. I think he had a pretty decent campaign in 2020 too. But what the fuck is this? This is like retard shit. You're not gonna win. I thought this one was in the bag. You were up against the guy that fucking endorsed you <laughs> for president. <laughs> how, did you, how did you fuck this up, bro? Why are you doing this? I don't know. <laughs> it's bad. It's Jover. It's, it's Trover. It's Laura Loomer over. I can't. 
nobody expects isn't that a thing in politics when something happens in october that like sh shakes the election this is the september surprise it's the laura loomer surprise that's uh, actually it's not out yet that's the october surprise donald trump is fucking around with laura loomer and laura loomer is it going to be like hey maybe we shouldn't do pdas like this in public because laura loomer is is ecstatic that she's getting to fuck the president of the united states so she's going to come out and she's going to jeopardize the campaign by being open about it in October because that's when this shit happens and that's the October surprise the Laura Loomer surprise that shakes the entire country and our, our country has to come together and decide can we have a Loomered president can we elect a man who has had sex with Laura Loomer this will be the most contentious debate in our country's history since the question of if we can have a black man as president in fact it's probably a little bit more contentious I'm going to be real with you it's going to require some real soul searching on behalf of our entire country still voting Trump I wish I I wish I could Wish I could sleep easy with myself knowing that I voted for someone who stuck his dick in Laura Loomer, but it just ain't right. It just ain't right. He has a wife. He has kids with that wife. And yet, he wants to go for Laura Loomer? Just, it just ain't right, chap. It just ain't right. Shocking. Disgusting, vile, terrible, horrific, a tragedy the likes of which we haven't seen since that other time that a tragedy happened to the United States. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.